Praise the Lord. Shalom. May the peace of God that surpass our understanding be upon you this morning. This is the day that the Lord has made, and therefore we need to rejoice and be glad in it. We serve a living God, a miracle-working God, a God who never sleeps nor slumber. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He is a God who knows everything about us. The day that our parents get together, the day that you were conceived, he knows our name, he knows our date of birth, he knows our address, he knows everything. And so there's a need for us always to say thank you for everything. Anything that happens in our life, let us give thanks unto the Lord and tell him, we know that your hand is in it, for you are working it for our good. So blessed be thy holy name. And open so you also so you can so no matter patchy, near what you name my chain, only a young cup one day in our Okuma in no demay, in Sru is unsay. A bra, I am with your toad, and I am crampled on young cup on you more. A dinty kai hono say. A drew near dinner, near Cosby, be a catcher, a raggy say. Minu say, near Cosby, who were down, Ama a yet in Shraman, is unsay, what some chairman said. And a pa, any a cheddy a penny now. If you are so strong, Uncle Pong, shall we go through the word of God? In the book of Psalm 34, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make it boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Praise the name of it's always very important to lift up our voices and bless the name of the Lord. This morning, I just want you to lift up your right hand with me and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Give him all the adoration and honor that is due unto his name because he is worthy of our praise and is worthy of our worship. But the Bible says that I will bless the Lord at all times because his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Why? He said, my soul big boast in the Lord, and the humble shall hear and be afraid. Hear of God, listen to me. Anytime you are being shaken by a situation, tell to yourself, my soul will always be boastful in the Lord. And so I will not allow anything that puts me down, that brings headache, that bring all kinds of pains into me. I will say to my soul, my soul rejoice because the Lord knows the best for you. Hallelujah. Because the verse 4 said, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all. Listen to this. The emphasis is all my fears. Praise the name of the Lord. You see, they say fear is contagious. And one of the, the devil's greatest weapon is fear. That is why the Bible says that we have not been given the spirit of fear, but we have been given the spirit of boldness, sound mind, and discipline, for which we can shut up and say, Abba, Father. Child of God, listen to me. Wherever there is fear, there is no faith. Wherever there is faith, there is no fear. And thank God that we have Jesus Christ, and so we have faith and trust in him. Shake away the fear. Remember, the fact that you feel today doesn't mean that is the end of you. Say to yourself, if I fail seven times because the Lord is with me, I will surely win the victory. And so don't allow the enemy to bring fear. For the Bible says that I sought the Lord and he heard me today. The Lord, heavens have come to your aid and God have heard you. Bible Brave Yara, so a town for person would do good, you are not the Abishu. 
baby a ehu wo na jidi ni ho baby a jidi wo na ehu ni ho into kuku anu ne kachira o mose ni nyang kupon wo tiemi isan se wo yimi a funya ni suni ne mo ano pay a grade basa a jiwe funya e a bohu ni ne usuni ne mo kuku wo nyang isan se mkuni midi ya odia se wo nyang kupon wo wafan wine ne bitmi no odia si shalom peace amen.